85% of our students start in the lowest level developmental math course. 85? 85% start in the lowest level math course, which has a pass rate traditionally of 50%. So we end up with 50 students. In the second developmental math course, we have a pass rate of 40%. So of those 50 who made it past level one, only 20 make it out of level two. College level math, college algebra, has a pass rate of 50%. So of the 20 students who make it into college level math, 10 make it out. Well, we have a wide demographics of students. For example, we have students that have been returning after 20, 30 years. You know, they decided to change their career or maybe they never were able to get a degree and now they want a better job, so they come back. We also have students that come straight from high school. A few students that are still in high school and are through a special program, they can take some college classes. Um, but what they have in common is somewhere along their, their journey, they have skills that they have not mastered and they need it. Mm -hmm. And so they're with us. So one of the big motivations for picking ad an adaptive learning solution was that the students coming in, especially at the lower level developmental math course, have a range of skills from essentially fourth grade math, which is whole number operations, uh, up to, say, 10th or 11th grade math, which would be uh, graphing linear equations, doing rate problems, proportions, decimals, fractions, percents, and so on. And because we have such a wide range, uh, teachers inevitably teach to the middle. And the students at the bottom are lost in a couple of weeks. The students at the top are bored for the first eight weeks. And some of them stop coming and fail the course that they were so well prepared for just because after eight weeks of, of just being tired of listening to stuff they already know, they got in the habit of not attending class. And like the, the tortoise and the hare, right, the hare fell asleep and never finished the race. <laughs>